My family, K. Moulton, must be scared. K. Moulton should be concerned and worried. Because right now, even members of the Sussex Squad are beginning to notice that UK Media have begun writing negative articles about K. Moulton. My family has Prince William turned on K. Moulton. My family is Prince William using the palace machinery at his disposal to now destroy his wife. My family, what is happening? I'll explain to you, my family, what right now we are seeing. Before that, I want to remind you of what a carnival of so-called expert said about how members of the royal family who are born in the royal family, who are of royal blood, how they view the women who marry into the royal family. My family, it is terrifying. Very, very terrifying. Please kindly hear what my family, one carnival, all so-called experts said, my family, about how senior members of the royal family, blood royals who are born royals, my family, how they view the women who marry into the royal family. My family, this should terrify anyone. This right now should be terrifying Kate Milton. Because right now I can see that my family, the palace machinery, and also the palace propaganda arm, the UK tablet press, are now working together to now target K. Milton. My family, please kindly hear this, please. Well, by the time that Diana died, and in fact, I'm afraid a few years before, the royal family had really given up on Diana. They found her a complete and utter menace, was a threat to the throne. But you have to remember that unless you oh, are boy. born into that family, you are of royal blood, you are always totally expendable in their oh, eyes. Nice. They are utterly okay. ruthless, mm. the Windsors. They will get rid of people, and that includes people who marry into them like that. They are not that important. I was told that when it was announced that she was dead that day in August, there was a great sigh of relief around the entire royal family. No, they didn't want her to die in a road accident. That was too horrendous. But she had her court, which was becoming more and more powerful, Really, she was taking on the royal f My family. You know? And the person my family who's saying this, his name is his name is James Whitaker. A royal correspondent, my family, who's saying this stuff. My family, doesn't that scare you? I mean, if you are someone who married into the royal family. Those words to scare you. If you are someone right now who is currently even in a relationship with a member of the royal family, those words from James Whitaker to scare you. To make you think twice about marrying into the royal family. You know? My family, we have seen even, even the byline Times exclusive itself. It said the spear and his wife were viewed as being expendable. However, the heir and his wife were to be protected, meaning William and K. Moulton. No wonder the palace did everything in its power to destroy Harry Meghan to protect William and K. Moulton, to prop up William and Kim Moulton, who are extremely jealous of Harry and Meghan's star power and the attention that Harry and Meghan, my family, received. My family, you've heard James Whitaker saying that Diana's court was extremely huge. It was 
so big. And the royal family were threatened by her court. They were afraid. Now, my family, there have always been questions about Diana's death. There have been so, so many questions about how she passed away. Where were the cameras, you know, on that tunnel, not working on the day that Diana died? You know, my family, I don't know about you, but even I don't believe in coincidences. My family, I don't. And I do believe that senior members of the royal family, like Charles, Camilla, William, are extremely dangerous. My family, that is what I believe. What I also believe is that the royal family will do everything in its power to ensure the survival of the monarchy. I also believe that the monarchy, you know, the royal family, the farm, as they're called, will do anything, will get rid of anybody who threatens, who threatens their survival. My family also, that is what I firmly believe. I'm simply saying that my family, I believe that senior members of the royal family are extremely dangerous. My family, a few weeks ago, or is it last month, when after Harry won his court case against the mirror, Piers Morgan threatened Prince Harry, my family, practically insinuating that the royal family should do something about Harry, meaning he knows exactly what the royal family are capable of. He knows. My family, he knows what the royal family are capable of. He knows. And my family, that is what scares me. That is what I am really, really scared about. About the royal family is my family capable of doing. My family, that is very much terrifying. Remember, they took away Prince Harry and Meghan's security. They stripped Harry and Meghan off of the security, knowing fully well the dangers and the threats that Harry and Meghan faced. But Charles did not care. Charles did not care even one bit. And neither did Prince William. My family, they are extremely dangerous. My family. And now it appears to me that uh, Kimilton is now the next target. You know, my family, a few days ago, Angela Levin, you know, made some kind of insinuations that perhaps Kimilton, my family, might have basically, my family, you know, had a mental breakdown. My family, allow me to remind you what Angela Levin said on GB Propaganda, my family news. Please kindly, my family, hear this, please. But for something like this, I think that he goes back to his own mother when he became what she called the man of the house. And he had to deal with her, with her uh, mental illnesses and crying and screaming and he'd put tissues under the bathroom door when she locked herself in to help her and I think he took that responsibility on when he was only 15 and didn't quite know what to do but here he's a mature man and he will know that his priority is to look after his wife but my family that is what Angela Levin my family said that is what Angela Levin, my family, has said about my family, Kimbleton, that somehow William has to take care of his wife and that he took care of his mother, who Angela Levin said, you know, had mental illnesses, which is a lie. But my family, to use what happened to Diana, what was done to Diana, her tears, her cries, and then talk about Kimbleton, it's like you are insinuating that Kimilton was having a mental breakdown. That Kimilton has been crying, sobbing because of who? 
the actions of Prince William. That is what Angela Levin, my family, was insinuating. My family, these individuals, they know exactly why Kim Wilson is in hospital, my family. They know. They know. However, there are things they can't say. However, what they do is give you coded, you know, messages, you know, of what truly has happened without saying it outrightly that this is why K. Moulton is at the hospital. My family, you know, they don't say it, my family, outrightly. And my family, today, my family, I saw an article written about K. Moulton. More like a hit piece written about Kate Milton. My firm by the mirror, which said this, and I quote, K. Milton, your best friend one minute and worst enemy the next. An expert has claimed. My family, I'll repeat this. My family, an expert has claimed that K. Milton, your best friend one minute and worst enemy the next. My family, this at the British Tabloid Press. They do PR and give good press to Prince William and Kim Moulton. But now it appears they are targeting Kim Moulton. My family, you know, let me delve deep into what my family was said by this so-called my family royal expert about my family Kate Milton, my family. You know, let me read you, my family. My family, here is what was said, my family, and I quote, our role expert has likened Kate's personality to Princess Diana. What did Angela Levin also do? She did the same thing, my family. Angela Levin, as you've heard, as I showed you, spoke about Diana crying and that William was taking care of Diana who was crying. What does that have to do with K. Milton being currently, my family, you know, at or in my family, the hospital? What does that have to do with K. Milton? And once again, another article is speaking about my family, you know, Kay Moulton, while also talking about Diana, what happened to her? My family. My family, let's delve deep into what my family has been said. Our road expert has likened Kate's personality to Princess Diana and claims that she can be your best friend one minute, but your worst enemy the next. And that Kay Moulton you know, and Prince William have been married for almost 11 years. You know, and will celebrate their wedding anniversary on April 29th. And that Kim Moulton is currently recovering from what they're saying, you know, abdominal surgery at a plush London hospital and is expected to have her husband close by her side as she takes a break from royal duties until after Easter. Now, a royal expert has offered an apparent behind the scenes glance at their marriage, at William and Kate's marriage. And as you compared the two of them to the late Princess Diana, my family, whereby Robert Jobson, for one, has claimed that Prince William has a notably short fuse. My family, and that William can be a bit of a shouter when he loses it. However, the AD added, it is fair to say that Kate and William give us good as they get 
if there is agreement, results in raised voices. But they know each other so well, it usually blows over quickly. And she is, on the whole, on the whole, a major calming influence on William, says Robert, my family, Jobson. My family, you know, that is my family, what they have, you know, said. You know? My family. Also, Ingrid Seward told the mirror that William, you know, is someone who is brilliant with the kids and that he always has been. And she highlighted the moment he confessed that he had already changed Prince George's nappy when he came to fetch his wife and child from St. Mary's Hospital back in the year of 2013, my family. And she added, William may not always be around, but I defy any woman not to agree that he is an ideal husband, especially in a situation such as this. My family says, you know, my family... Ingrid Seward. In my family, basically, they spoke about, you know, Kay Milton being your best friend one minute and then your worst enemy the next. My family, that is a headline that is meant to damage someone's, my family, reputation. My family, that is the purpose of the headline. It is meant to be more like a smear campaign against you. And we all know the job of the media is to prop up William and Kimilton. And they normally undermine Harry Meghan time and time again to prop up William and Kimilton. But this time, they have written a negative headline about Kimilton and did not much explain much, you know, or expound much on that headline. Instead, they spoke about William and Kate's disagreements. My family, allow me to tell you this. If there is something that K. Moulton should be afraid of, my family, it is that Prince William could possibly leave her. My family, a few, just last year, we learned that Kate Milton's parents' party business business had gone bust. It had collapsed. The family. Their business, their family business had collapsed. And that creditors were angry. They were pissed off at also my family, you know, Kate Milton's parents. And before that happened, I saw an article with the headline that said that Kate Milton will go broke if she and William get a divorce. You know, these individuals know that these two clearly are living separate lives. And really, I will not really care much about this. However, my family, here is what also happened that even made me have to talk about this. My family, the mirror that lost its court case against Prince Harry, that Prince Harry had filed against the mirror on phone hacking, on unlawful gathering of information. Harry proved all that and won his court case. Now, my family, the mirror changed the headline and then they claimed, my family, it is Prince Harry, who's your best friend one minute and then worst enemy the next. Expert claims. My family, that headline about K. Moulton was changed, my family, to an attack on Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. My family, and that is what bothers me. Because this proves that indeed, the royal family are still using Harry and Meghan as their personal scapegoats. 
the royal family are still feeding both Harry and Meghan to the wolves, the British tablet press. My family, you know, that is my family what they are doing. That is what they are doing. And my family, the actions of senior members of the royal family, this constant attempt at using Harry and Meghan as scapegoats to cover for Prince William and Kim Hilton's, you know, failed marriage. My family, it is evil, it is wrong. And my family, we must keep on demanding that UK Media and the farm stop using Harry and Meghan as their personal, my family, scapegoats. My family, the headline, the original headline was about Kim Hilton. And then they twisted it into an attack on Prince Harry. My family, that is what they did. And the only reason they could possibly have done this is because they got a phone call from the palace. Remember, my family, there are two factions. We have Buckingham Palace, you know, the court of Buckingham Palace, headed by Charles. And then we have William and Kate's court, Ken Thinton Palace, that is known for leaking so many anti Harry and Meghan stories to the UK cabinet press. You have two courts, meaning that one court must have leaked this stuff about William and Kim Moulton. One court must have leaked this stuff. You know? And the other court must have called this tablet, the mirror, and asked them to remove the headline of the article and replace it with Prince Harry's name. And that is what the mirror did. My family. And here is my opinion. Buckingham Palace leaked this story about William and Kim Moulton. You know, in an attack on Kim Hilton family. Remember, remember what happened. The person who first announced that she was in hospital, my family, in hospital, was Kim Hilton. And then right after that, Charles, you know, Buckingham Palace, issued a statement saying that the, Kim, that the king was pursuing treatment, you know, for an enlarged prostate. It means Charles couldn't stand it, seeing Kim Hilton getting the attention. You know, when Charles went to Kenya, he called Kim Hilton, you know, my beloved daughter-in-law. And the trolls were like, Megan, you hear that? You hear that? Charles had called Kim Hilton, my beloved daughter-in-law. Megan, do you hear that? You must be jealous right now. Do you hear that? He's never said the same thing about you. You know, Megan, trolls. My family were rampant on social media, gloating about what Charles had said about Kim Hilton, calling Kim Hilton my beloved daughter-in-law. And then, during, what's so funny really, is that during the My Family State Banquet, whereby, you know, Charles was having a state banquet in honor of the president of South Korea. My family at that time, Kim Hilton, they put candles, my family, in front of Kim Hilton. That way, to obstruct the cameras from focusing on Kim Hilton at the state banquet. So much for my beloved daughter-in-law, my family. Clearly, what Charles can't stand is being upstaged. What Charles can't stand is seeing the media when they're choosing who to put on their front page. Charles can't stand that my family, if it was a choice between the media putting, you know, Charles or Kim Hilton on the front page, they put Kim Hilton. Charles can't stand that. And no wonder during that state banquet, they put candles in front of Kim Hilton to obstruct the cameras focusing on Kim Hilton. You know, so much for my beloved daughter-in-law. Because if you love someone, you will not be jealous that that person is getting attention. You won't be jealous that that person is on the front page of a tablet if you truly love someone. You wouldn't even care. My family, it will not bother you if you are on the front page or not. But for Charles, it bothers him. 
my family, it borders Charles. And I believe, in my opinion, that my family, Buckingham Palace, has leaked this story. You know, my family, it is public knowledge that William has a temper. He has a temper. Everyone knows he has a temper. And Robert Johnson is someone who is allied to Charles, my family. He's a part of, you know, Charles' faction. People who support my family, Charles' court. Robert Johnson, my family, is one of them. Which is interesting because my family, in this article about Kim Wilton, with the negative headline, my family, it is Robert Johnson also who speaks about William being a shelter. Something he wrote in his book. So my family, you know, this stuff, it came from Buckingham Palace. It's meant to be a hit piece on Kate Milton because someone is jealous about the attention that Kate is getting from the media and that person must be Charles. But also, they are telling us that there's something going on between William and Kate Milton and all ain't well in these two, my family, in their marriage. All is not well, my family. Because remember, Charles never ever loved Diana. And the royal family treated Diana appallingly. They treated her appallingly, my family. And now, they're talking about my family, Kim Wilton, and Diana in the same bracket, while writing a negative article about Kim Wilton. My family, what does that tell you? What message does that send? My family could be that William right now is fed up with Kim Wilton. And that clearly he's so, so done with Kim Wilton. And perhaps even wanted to fully, fully just, you know, get a divorce from Kim Wilton. But then Kim Wilton had a mental breakdown. She broke down. Because she knows, my family, the moment William dumps her, if Prince William dumps her, my family, she'll have to get a real job. She'll have to get a real job. And someone who has not been used to working all her life will be terrified of that prospect. Someone whose parents, clearly their party pieces business, has gone bust. My family, someone like that, you know, would never ever want a divorce with Prince William. My family. So I do believe whatever is going on with my family, Kim Bolton, it is her right now trying to keep her marriage with William intact. It's her begging and pleading for William not to leave Kim Milton. My family, that is what is happening. When clearly, William is clearly fully, fully done with her. And even this comment about William being a good father to his kids, it's also, I feel like the media trying to prepare you know, Prince William being a single father. You know, but I've always believed that the royal family, the palace, would never ever want a divorce between William and Kim Wilton. At least when Harry and Meghan are married, happy, they would never ever want to see a divorce between William and Kim Wilton. You know, I don't see the pilots and family, you know, wanting that. You know, William and Kim Wilton, they bonded together and were united in trying to destroy Harry and Meghan's lives. And then once Harry and Meghan fled the UK and are now living in the US, my family, living their best lives ever, now William and Kim Wilson have nothing to bond over. And now clearly we can see cracks in their marriage. Because my family, we thought that the heir and his wife are to be protected. But now we are seeing only the heir's wife, Kim Wilson, being targeted with negative pieces. Negative, negative article my family. Which and about Kim Wilton? My family, it's a smear campaign against Kim Wilton. You know, William clearly must be fully, fully done with Kim Wilton. And my family, Kim Wilton, you know, became sick or something. You know, at the fear of, you know, not being married to Prince William. Because if she's dumped by Prince William, how will she earn a living? How will she make money? She'll be broke. She'll be broke. Just as the media wrote months ago. If Kate and William get a divorce, Kate will be broke. She'll have nothing. My family. And if there's something, there's someone like Kim Wilson. 
And if it's something that someone like K Muslim is afraid of my family, is having nothing. You know? Kate did not just, you know, chase after William all of William's life to be left with nothing, to have nothing in return. You know, and my family, that is why my family, I believe, that my family is one of the reasons as to why K Milton, my family, is in hospital right now, my family. You know, things aren't well between her and my family, Prince William. You know? My family, Robert Jobson, my family, said this. He said that a courtier had told him, my family, recently, and I quote, that they, William and Kate, have quite extreme mood swings, just as Diana did, and that Kate could be your best friend one minute and the next, your worst enemy. My family, what is happening to K. Moton? What is being done to K. Moton, my friend, right now? Because right now, we are seeing hit pieces, negative articles written about K. Moton, my family. Right now, we are seeing negative articles written about K. Moton. You know, K. thought he was just safe. He was safe, my friend. That, you know, the media... And the farm just wanted to destroy Meghan Markle. And even she also wanted to see Meghan destroyed. Kate wanted that so much. My family. But Meghan is the one who's healthy. My family. And Kay Moulton is the one who currently is my family at the hospital. And then you're having Cotillas leaking and beefing against Kay Moulton. My family, perhaps Kimuton must be shown this clip. My family. Whereby James Whitaker says that if you are not of royal blood, the royal family see you as being expendable. You know? And my family, Kimuton, my family clearly, as for her, she must be doing something. To try and keep herself in there from being kicked out of the royal family. Because my family, you all know what happens when you are, you know, left alone. You are not protected by the royal family. The community are told that they can do anything they want with you. My family, it's happening right now to King Milton. My family, you know, tell me your thoughts, my family, about what we have just discussed. My family, I want to hear... Your opinion, family, on what my family is being said right now. Right now, we are seeing a smear campaign against Kim Muslim family. It is karma, really, for what she did to Meghan Markle, for the pain and the hell she put Meghan through my family. Now the palace is turning on her. My family, even someone on this headlines said this. The palace is entering phase two. Turn Kim Muslim into a Jezebel. And I love this for Kim Muslim. My family. And then phase two is turn Prince William into the perfect single dad. And no wonder you have my family, you know, a picture of William just with his kids. Being used by Daily Mail while gushing about Prince William, my family. You know, it's like they're preparing people for the idea or prospect of William being a single dad. My family, you know? I mean, Daily Mail said this, that Prince William is a hands-on dad who won't be faced by parenting George, Charles and Lewis full-time while Kate Milton recovers my family in the hospital insider has claimed with a picture of William just with his kids. My family, someone else said that I see that William is doing the exact same thing his father did to Diana. Rose Hanbury, get ready. Get ready for your new title. It looks like you are already and are ready to take the crown. My family, so called Melissa Johnson said, and my family, as you all know, Rose Hanbury is someone who is alleged to be, you know, Prince William's alleged mistress, someone who William had an alleged affair with. And my family, 
has Rose Hanbury as Prince William if perhaps she can be, you know, queen. Family, who knows? Who knows? But if Camilla can be queen, then honestly, Rose Hanbury must see that maybe she has a way in. The family, of course, all this stuff is allegedly. My family, someone else said that Kate thought that she was untouchable, exactly as I've said. You know? She thought she was untouchable. Now look what's happening to her. They are coming for her. Courtiers are briefing against King Milton. Family, what really happened to King Milton? What really has happened to King Milton? Is it true that she just had an abdominal surgery? Is that what really happened? Family, I don't think so. I don't think so. Based on the rhetoric of the royal family, my family, that is not what has happened to Kate Milton. In my family, that is not what has happened to Kate Milton, my family. You know? In my family, I won't sit idly by and watch them as they continue using Harry as a scapegoat. You know, whatever business is happening between Kate Milton and Prince William, my family, honestly, I don't really care much. The only thing I can say really is karma. It is karma, you know, to Kim Milton. Because she thought she was untouchable. And she treated Megan appallingly. My family. And now look what's happening to her. Now look what's happening to her. You know, Megan is someone who is an advocate for women empowerment. She's someone who believes in women supporting each other. My family, that's what Megan believes in. Even I believe in that, personally, my family. That women should always support each other. And uh, my family, however, for Kim Milton, we all saw how cruel she was to Meghan Markle. We all saw exactly how cruel she was to Meghan Markle. I mean, during the Queen's funeral, my family, it is no one can deny they were cruel to Meghan Markle. Nobody, nobody can deny it. They're so cruel to Meghan Markle. And my family, you know, Kate thought that it's okay just to treat Megan appallingly. You know? That's what she thought and that's what she really gave my family. And guess what? Megan's left the UK. She lives in America in an amazing mansion. My family and Kim Milton, you know, right now, the palace is standing on her. Courtiers are briefing against her. <laughs> if only she had Megan as an ally. My family, but she did not have Megan as an ally. Now look what's happening to her. It is karma. It is karma, my family. It is karma. That is what my family is happening to Kim Milton. You know? My family, someone else said that, you know, Kate can easily be thrown on the bus. Can easily be thrown on the bus. She'd better find some allies because the Windsors are ruthless. My family. And that's exactly what is happening right now to Kim Milton. They're being ruthless with her. You know? My family. Someone else said that they don't even pretend. They're using the same old playbook. My family. That is the royal family's you know, tactic. They use the same old, same old you know, playbook. And some people just fall for it, my family. We won't fall for it freely. We know exactly what is happening and clearly... Something sinister is happening right now to Kay Moulton, my family. Something sinister is happening to her. You know? And she thought she was untouchable. You know, Megan is in there, Kay Moulton. You are there in the raw fold. And look what's happening to you. It is come of what you did, what you did to Megan Markle. It is come of what you did to Megan. I found it has come of what you did to Megan K. Morton. You know, I would never ever wish for someone to suffer. Even despite, you know, all the pain they caused Meghan Markle and uh, Prince Harry. I would never ever wish for anyone to endure what Diana went through. What Colin Flack went through. What Megan has had to go through. I would never wish that upon anyone. But my family, when you abuse someone, when you treat someone appallingly and you enjoy seeing that person suffer, you know, Remember this, that one day it's going to happen to you. And that is what is happening to Kimbleton right now. I mean, my family, William, has been reported going to see Kimbleton just once. Just once. Once. You know, something is not okay with these people. You know, 
my fault really you know it's awkward because it's not like william has anything better to do really my family you know he doesn't so something is going on my family something is something is really going on and my family right now kimoton is being targeted by the wikimedia you know something is going on my family you know and my family it is kate's fault she could have had megan as a as an ally as a friend but now my family looks she's alone lonely you know she's alone and she's lonely and now the palace have begun their smear campaign against her my family as the thing goes you reap what you sow my family kim to kelly is reaping exactly what she sowed my family you know tell me your thoughts about currently the smear campaign against kim i want to hear my family opinion on that with that and so much more stay tuned to on this video love you also forever we will be keep, we'll be keeping a close eye my family on this stuff we'll be keeping a close eye on this stuff on what's going on and we'll update my family on more information that my family will be receiving stay tuned for next video love you also forever and may god bless you my family hate never wins love wins and stay tuned to our next video my family love you also forever hello members of zisco family tv First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. I love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.